Hi everybody, happy Sunday afternoon. Um, the weather's not that great here, so um, I've been staying put, and I guess since we had the last uh, report from the governor, it's really making us stay inside even more. And so I wanted to spend some time, and I was working with my brown paper bags again and cutting them out for paper boxes, but I had a whole bunch of papers left over, so I cut them up. And I decided to experiment with making collage papers. And I know that some of you said that uh, you didn't have any collage paper when I was giving a class. I really encourage you to spend some time and really get your collage paper and put them in a box or a bag or something. So anytime you do your projects, they're right there ready for you to use. And so I got some really pretty colors. I'll show it to you yellow uh, gouache paint watercolor gouache hot pink red and of course black and little blue pink just kind of wanted to do some little interesting things on top of the printed bag already and um this is a gouache, hot pink gouache paint. And these make just beautiful colors, don't you think? I mean, I just love these bright colors. I never dreamed that watercolors would come out like that. Then I took some, I have some acrylic paint that I bought. Let me see, let me show you this little box that I have here. This is a collection of my acrylic paints. And uh, I went to Target and I bought a couple of really, really nice, and they're really reasonable, but they are acrylic paints. And so I bought some of these beautiful colors. I wanted to show them to you. But anyway, I used this color and I uh, painted this paper with it. And with acrylic paints, they do come out very, very um, mixed. It just really covers everything up. And the beauty about using acrylic paints is that it, it's just permanent. It doesn't, even if you put water on it, it doesn't, the color doesn't run off. So I did a couple of those gouache paint. And I did something really interesting with this. I think I put two different colors on here. Uh, I first did a, a lime green gouache paint, and then I went over with a darker, so it just gives it some more texture. And another yellow and here's another thing I did I used pale pink underneath and then I wanted to kind of create kind of a peachy effect so I just went and brushed it over with orange and you know once this is cut up it'll be really interesting because it has a lot of texture to it and I did the same thing here I used two different colors uh, put orange on top another acrylic uh, paint that I used and then Here's something that's really interesting I did. I put scribble the brown paper with um, yellow color pencil, red color pencil, and um, I think I used a water soluble crayon on here and I scribbled all over and then I put the gouache on top of it. And now you can see how some of the colors from underneath is, is seeping out. And I thought that really was really interesting. And I did the same thing here. I put color pencils all over underneath and then I painted the top uh, with red gouache. And you could see that there's pencil marks that shows through. And um, I just find that so interesting when you get more than just one solid color. This is acrylic paint, gouache paint. And then something that I had already on hand and I thought, well, I'll try that. And this is a Lemire, Lemire, yes, it's called Lemire. And it is a um, kind of a frosty, pearly, shiny kind of a paint that I had from before. And so I brought this out and I thought, well, I'm gonna see if I could guess what, what happens when I put this color on. 
So this is kind of a pearlized liquid paint, acrylic paint. And oh my God, I was so shocked because it came out so beautiful. See how shiny they are? And like this is a silver. And I could hardly wait to use some of these into some of my artwork. This is copper, silver again, and then this aqua blue. So anyway, this is all I did today. And I feel like I have a uh, array of colors now that I could use. And I will keep them in a little separate box so that I could look through these when I'm doing my artwork. And I will just use this for collaging and cutting out little things for the holidays. So anyway, I just want to share that with you. I hope that you are doing some something creative today. And I hope that you'll take the time to experiment with some of the things that you have and, and try to create some collage papers because I think that you're going to be really happy with them because you have so many... Um, papers that you could use in whatever you do in the future. Okay? Have a good afternoon.